thanks you guys for tuning in to John Angel's YouTube page. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at installing a power supply into a 2008 8-core Mac. Um, this one as you can see is on now, but we're having some trouble with the power going out after it's been on for a little while. Go to your little Apple icon up there and about this Mac. And uh, go to more info. And that will give you your basic specs and um, help you match up the power supply. You can probably find on eBay or um, you know, just use computer shops elsewhere. Okay, so the first thing you want to keep in mind is um, you've got to have the proper tools to do the job. So what I like to recommend is a full set of cowboy boots. Also, you want to have a nice set of tools. Um, Non-magnetic screwdrivers and stuff like that, because that'll screw up your. You know, I mean, <laughs> like beat that out. Uh, but anyway, like this is a decent set that I got online, um, about thirty bucks. All right, so before operating on any electrical equipment, you always want to make sure that you've disconnected the power source so you don't get an unfriendly buzz. Unplug your power cord and your video cable. Okay, these things are pretty easy to get into. Um, this little lever right here, you just put your finger up under there and pull it up and this will come right off. It's in here, it's in this piece. So these things right here are your drive bays. You'll see a couple hard drives installed right there. And these are empty. So those are your um, connectors for your eSATA drives if you were to put a couple more in there. But we're trying to get the power supply. So there's a drive over there. There's like a hard drive right there or something? Right, that's the hard drive. And the other two are empty? Yeah, these two are empty. So. This is the area that your power supply is in, so it'll be a little easier to get to this. If you pull these two out, they just slide right out. I'm going to take out this other stuff to get it out. Um, a lot of this stuff just pulls out. Here it goes, yeah. Yay, you filming? Yeah. You little man. Look, it's a DVD player. Pull out the cable, and that's the ribbon cable, and then you pull out the power cable, and it goes like this. <laughs> and then it's done. That's the whole thing. You done. That's fixed. <laughs> it's fixed, man. Look, it's done. What is that? Oh, the DVD player. It's oh. the DVD. <laughs> we, we found the power supply. Yeah. Basically, it's right here. It's it's right here, and there's some screws in it. And um, basically, we have to uh, take the screws out. No, I'm saying. So anyway, you can see Axel. Is, uh, ah, this one's out. really tight in there. Doing some of the screws on the bottom of the power supply. <clears throat> They're pretty tough. Yeah, this one's really tight in there. They're built to last. Okay, so I had to use a different screwdriver. First, we started with this one, which was too. T First, we started with this one, which was too tall. Then we had to use this one, which was shorter. But then it was so tight. That screw was so tight, and I was just doing it with my little fingertips. And then I even used this Allen wrench on this, I mean, this like little grip thing. What's this called? A pliers. needle needle nose pliers. Yeah. It, and, um, and then I used that on it and I still couldn't turn it. So I had to get something that I could really grip and turn and do it really, get a strong grip on it. Yeah. Did you see, can you see in there? Yeah, so then it finally it. loosened this, this little screw back here. Yeah, it was. And so now it's loose. So that was pretty good. Cool. 
You plug. have to disconnect those so that you can just take out the whole power supply now that you unscrewed the power supply. Yeah, so um, it's like a Velcro strip actually. So you pull that loose and then you just push these tabs till they lift up. And then you just pull oh, these cool. apart. Wow. Yeah, now you did it. Yeah, look, it looks the same. Let's get a shot of these, okay? Yeah. It's right down on it. It looks like the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you connected all those cables again. Yeah. For the power supply. Right. And then now what? It's got this protective plate that goes over them. Okay. And we're just putting everything back together. Yeah. You can, that we took apart. You can see these two um, screw holes down here. This right here? Yeah. And then this right here. That's going to match up to these two screw holes here. Okay. Yeah, that goes in there. Yeah. What's that for? I guess it's just to cover up the cables. Oh. The DVD plot. Yeah. Okay. And remember this has cables. You can't just screw it in. You've got to hook up the cables. This is pretty self-explanatory. You look at what cables match up with the sockets. Yeah. The whole thing is pretty self-explanatory, putting it back, right? Well, see, this slides down. See these little Oh, that um, just slides screws? in. Yeah, it's got these straps right Oh, so you're right almost here. done with the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, cool. Let's just watch it and see. So that's back. That's good. Look. Hey! Fix this computer just for you. Wow. We fix this computer just for you. As you can see, it works now. Okay, that's it. So please subscribe to the YouTube page for my John Angel YouTube page. And this is Corey Greer. We've done a lot of videos together. We, you can click, you can watch a music video of us dressed up as this. We did like an official song and music video, and you know, made like a nice, entertaining video. It's called Slash. It's a, it's a parody of Slash and Axl Rose and Guns N' Roses, and it's pretty good. So check that out, and if you want, click here for Corey Greer's YouTube page. I'll put a link to his YouTube page somewhere around here, and just click on it when you see his YouTube page, Corey Greer's YouTube page, and check out his videos. He's he's a mostly a filmmaker and videographer, and artist and guitarist and musician. We've been friends for about, I don't know, what, six years or something? Seven yeah. years? Mm -hmm. Eight? Seven or eight years? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Thanks, everybody. Like the video. Click like on the video and check out all, a bunch more of the original content on this page. And thanks. Bye. Oh,